Masoka Universe. Well, excuse me for being patriotic, but after another round where with two wins and being at the doorstep of qual qual qualification, I think I gotta wear my country's home jersey uh, for once. Uh, yesterday I only saw, how should I say, one game for sure, one game parallel and one game until the 75th minute and I barely have seen highlights so you know uh, it will not probably not be as an extensive video but I'll do my best to uh, summarize everything. Um, let's start off with a game that I actually watched for the largest time until I said uh, since I wanted to watch Austria in the evening let's put the girls to bed it's Belarus against the Netherlands which was kind of a weird game I mean the Dutch controlling the game in the first half, um, I think after 20, 20, 25 minutes, they had completed over 250 passes and Belarus barely had 24 or something like that. It was absolutely um, complete and utter dominance, let's put it that way. Um, but the, they didn't create too many chances and if they had it, they missed them and it took a header by Wijnaldum in the 32nd to break the deadlock. And then uh, was another nice attack uh, in the 41st that Vanaldo made it 2-0 uh, and you thought everything is home dry. But you know, Belarus had their chances already in the first half uh, to get this goal and uh, they also started the second half kind of a little bit on the front foot. And in the end they end up getting after across the, uh, the goal through Dragun in the 53rd. And the Dutch seemed a little bit again flirting with disaster. I mean, I have not seen the last 20 minutes or so, but I felt that they had the control. I felt that they needed the third goal, but obviously they didn't get it. And Belarus was in that game for uh, more time than they probably would have liked. Um, in but in the end, Belarus ends uh, ends up losing to the Dutch uh, two one, and the Dutch stay on track. Also, Germany wins three 0 in Estonia. Uh, let's quickly see the goal scorers. I know Germany uh, got a red card through Emre Can in the 14th, Gundogan the 51st, 57th, and Werner. Oh, Werner finally makes a goal in the 71st. Uh, get the three goals. You know. Uh, they beat Estonia 8-0 at home, so 3-0 away was kind of expected, even with the man down. And now in the standings we have that the Dutch and the Germans uh, are ahead, 15 points each. Um, Northern Ireland still has a chance, uh, and they're playing now the Dutch at home and Germany away, and this is basically where it all will be decided. It's Interesting is also how I would uh, describe the group E, where Hungary finally gets a win again, 1-0 over Azerbaijan. Um, that was uh, sorely needed. The uh, Korhut already in the 10th. You just also see though that Hungary probably needs to get more uh, out of a, a game like that. And then the big game between Wales and Croatia, where Wales basically needed a win, ended up in a 1-1 draw and I saw uh, some of that game and saw some highlights. I mean Croatia from the get-go was the uh, more mature and better team even without a Rakitic um, in there. Uh, Vlasic after a really nice combination outside of the box he takes a shot that undeflected goes against the post and in, in the I always like those precision shots a lot. Uh, it was 1-0 Croatia and uh, as I said Croatia kind of controlled proceedings without having too many chances. I think there was one by Perisic, a header that uh, should have been made. Um, but it was really not, not much happened until Ben Davis uh, grabs the ball in the midfield. It was already in a stoppage time. Runs towards the middle, sees Bale on the left who makes a wonderful touch, gets past the Croatian defender and gets the equalizer right before halftime. Second half I have to say, uh, whenever I watched, I mean, there was a, again an injury, there was eight minutes of stoppage time, a lot of fouls, but there was not many chances on either side. Um, and it ends up 1-1 without, you know, anyone really threatening goal that much. This means now that Croatia um, 
sits at 14 points, top of this group, um, can probably will, will qualify. This, uh, this draw is not enough, but if they would have won, they would have already qualified. But I think they're sitting quite well up there. Uh, so I wouldn't say that they are in danger of not qualifying, although there is, of course, a path to not. Um, they have a home game next, I think it is against Slovakia. Uh, that where the where they can seal the deal. Um, other than that, uh, Hungary, Wales, yeah, Hungary needs the points. I think Slovakia is still in the best position. Uh, let's quickly see where this group is going before I'm speculating too much here. We have Croatia, Slovakia, and Azerbaijan, Wales uh, in on match day uh, nine, and then. Um, Wales against Hungary and Slovakia, Azerbaijan, so Croatia is done by that time. Um, Slovakia probably could could need something, so it's really hard to call. I think Croatia and Slovakia will make it. I think Wales is a little bit too much in the hole, although not without a chance. I mean, if Wales wins um, two games, eight and six of 14 points, and they are level with Croatia, Croatia probably will get a point against Slovakia. Um, yeah, it is in there. I would still hand it at the moment to Slovakia. I think those guys look the strongest. But this to me is one of the most impenetrable groups because you don't know really what's going. Uh, much clearer is Group G now because Poland uh, wastes a lot of chances uh, but finally gets the breakthrough late in the game um, through uh, Frankowski after a nice assist by Lewandowski who actually... Uh, had chances to add to his goal total. Um, and then Milik with a wonderful shot in the 80th makes it 2 0, wholly deserved win for Poland over Northern Macedonia. And um, that means they qualify for the Euros and other 13 qualified already. Austria could have qualified as well if they would have gotten the win in Poland, and the two would have qualified at the same time. However, they at that game that they dominated, they couldn't. Uh, find the breakthrough, but uh, they also dominated Slovenia um, quite some, uh, really stifled them from the get-go. The only thing I have, have, have to say it a few times that they were on the back foot, um, it didn't seem all that safe, and I'm especially I'm not so happy that about Stankovic in goal. To me, he seems like a little bit of an insecurity, yet again an insecurity in there, and I don't quite understand because I think we have at least one, if not two, better goalkeepers uh, at the moment. But, you know, um, also there were some chances. I mean, uh, we didn't have Arnautovic in front, it was Gregoric. And I thought, you know, with Gregoric in front, I always had the feeling he's not going to make his goal. And uh, so it was, although he had his chances. Uh, but the breakthrough came from a corner where Posh in his fourth uh, uh, cap heads it in and then Austria just failed to make the second goal. Um, they should, there probably should have been a penalty for Slovenia. Um, ball hit Gregoric with the arm outstretched, something like here. Um, and the other thing, a uh, red card for Ulmer should have been given. Uh, that tackle was brutal and it should have been a red card. Uh, those were two things we have to say. The ref, Jakir, was a little bit in favor of Austria, but I think other than that, the lead at the half, and then also in the second half was fully deserved. It was really Austria who should have made a sec second goal, and I have to say that uh, Gregorich, Sav, 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 those are not goal scorers. They are great players, but <sighs> if they would be a little bit more going to or to school or taking shots. Oh, oh maybe they are uh, Savica is take, taking shots, but uh, his variance is uh, way too high. Slovenia had only minor chances and, you know, really was not much showing. Austria, very routine performance, gets the win and needs just a draw now at home in Northern Macedonia to qualify. Given that we started with two losses, uh, this qual qual qualification, I think that's a pretty big statement. Um, Austria, as we will see, 
will probably qualify from, from this group as well. Only marginal chances for Northern Slo uh, Macedonia and Slovenia. Israel has a game in hand, but it's in my opinion also out. So I think it will be Poland, Austria from this group. Uh, another group that was that that we know for longest time how the games how who will qualify is Belgium and Russia, and now Russia is also qualified. Belgium continues their winning streak is also one of those uh, completely unbeaten teams. Twenty four out of eight games, they beat Kazakhstan uh, two nil. Goals are by uh, Bachuai and Meunier. Uh, Russia rolls over Cyprus to qualify five nil. Let's see the goal scorers: Cheryshev, Ozdoev, Tuba, of course, Golovin, and Cheryshev adds another one. Uh, after 22nd min 22 minutes, it was 2 0, and then the last three goals uh, were in the 79th, 89th, and then in stoppage time. And Scotland gets a rare win, but over San Marino, that was expected 6 0. Uh, so, yeah, but uh, it doesn't really count much. McGinn gets a hat trick in the first half, and then Shankland, Finland, Armstrong make the other goals but as we see the group is decided we have Belgium and Russia qualified for, for the Euros so now we have um, four teams qualified Belgium did it Italy did it and yesterday Poland and Russia both qualified as well tonight we have two interesting games uh, with uh, France against Turkey Bulgaria England yeah it's for me interesting but I think I will mostly uh, watch France Turkey and then, yeah, we'll see if more teams qualify uh, tonight already as well. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Sorry, I was not too coherent, to, I felt, today. Uh, I wish I would have seen more highlights. I just didn't have uh, the chance. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And drop a comment below to fill in if you saw other games than I did. As I said, I saw with the Dutch, the Austrians and Croatia Wales a little bit and I'll talk to you soon bye hey there I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe and with that I want to wish you a wonderful day bye